And like I was saying, the list goes on to the fact that you have all these other animated classics and stuff that could benefit from the treatment of being an animated feature film. Well, not animated feature film, but being an ad getting an animated sequel, even if it's in, even if it's direct to video. Because let's be honest, the, there's a whole library one. You could do. I know it sounds crazy. You could do one on Pinocchio, perhaps, if you felt like it. You know, um, what else? You know, again, there's, there's so many, so many out there. Sleeping Beauty. Okay, yeah. Technically, you've had Sleeping Beauty continuations and little animated shorts, but we're talking full-length film. You know what I'm saying? Heck, even even Dare to Do the Impossible. Dare to do the impossible and get Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs a sequel. See what I'm saying? You have all these opportunities in front of you. You have this whole library. Disney has this whole library in front of them. And they need to utilize it. I mean, take a look at Warner Brothers. You know, yeah, they're technically doing what Disney's doing with Tinkerbell with Scooby-Doo. Warner Brothers every year brings out one to two to maybe three at most Scooby animated Scooby-Doo movies. And if you're a Scooby-Doo fan, that's what you wait for. Because you know they're going to do that. And if you're a Tinkerbell fan, then you realize you've got to wait almost a whole year before you get the next Tinkerbell movie. But to me, you've got a whole library's worth of animated classics that even if it's for one time only, deserve at least a chance of getting an animated sequel. You know, it's just my personal opinion, but I feel it needs that. It needs to get that. If you know what I'm saying. It needs to have that opportunity. Like I said, the list could just go on and on movies I... I'm talking about. You know? I mean, you did, okay, you did a sequel to Atlantis. That did Milo's Return, I think. That was a miss. I admit, that was a miss by direct you know, from Disney's direct video market. But the thing is, again, it just proves you can have hits and you can have misses. Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch 2, obviously, I think was good. I, I heard it was, I think it was average, maybe a bit of a hit, maybe a bit of a miss, kind of like 50 50 there. Um, and then you had another Lilo. Lilo and Stitch related movie called Leroy and Stitch and Stitch the movie which was a pilot to the Lilo and Stitch series. I mean, like I said, the list goes on of all these animated features out there. Princess and the Frog could get, should have one. At least have her go back, at least have her find a way to go back to being a frog so she has to go on this adventure where only as a frog she could do this. She could go on this adventure or something. I don't know. You know, the point is these movies deserve it. I mean, Tangled deserved one, believe it or not. Yes, they got Tangled Ever After, which was basically an, an animated short, which was the wedding of Rapunzel and uh, Flynn Rider, you know. But to me, you could do a Tangled uh, movie, have it take place years later, with them having kids, maybe being, you know, Take a page out of Little Mermaid 2 if you have to. The, the point is, these movies, does, there is a whole library worth, I know I sound like a broken record here, but there's a whole library worth of Disney animated films that deserve to get this, you know, what, at least one direct-to-video sequel. Not theatrical, because believe me, unless you have a good director and writer, and, and script writer, doing the story, Direct to video is your only option. Theatrical, you could try. You've there have been some successes, but not really. I mean, Rescuers Down Under is the only possible exception, in my opinion, because it was good. I mean, they basically continued what was mainly a bland story and turned it into an action-packed epic. But the point is, you can even do a sequel to the Rescuers Down Under, make a third Rescuers movie but direct to video, and it would get a, I'm pretty sure a huge follow because they would expect the same kind of quality, or at least the same kind of good story. The point is, and I know again, I'm sounding like a broken record, I'm sounding like a broken record saying I'm sounding like a broken record, but the thing, what I'm trying to get at in this two-part video is um, the the fact that Disney, to me, has the best direct-to-video market out there when it comes 
to not just original movies, animated wise, original animated films, but basically to animated se to sequels to classic animated features, and if not original animated features as well. So, I it's just my personal preference and opinion, but I feel they need to bring that back. They need to, you know, they they can. I mean, here's the thing: don't you know you know don't have them stop. Don't have them stop doing releasing the original films and sequels and sequels to the Tinkerbell franchise, more movies to the Tinkerbell franchise. Hey, continue doing that, continue bringing out original animated films if you want to, but at least now and then, focus, uh, get, start focusing, start refocusing on doing sequels, even if it's one sequel, on a classic animated feature, feature of, from the Disney library, if you know what I'm saying. So, I mean, heck, do a, an animated sequel for Bongo. People want to see that, you know. But to me, I think it need, in my, my personal preference and opinion, Disney needs to bring that director video, the animated sequel uh, portion of the director video marketing division, back up. They need to start doing that again because people do obviously have an obsession, well, not an obsession, but they have a bit of a, not a fetish, fetish, if you will, but they have a bit of an inkling, if you will, to see what would exactly happen next. I mean, you got Alice in Wonderland you could do it with, and again, the list goes on. So, let me know what you guys think. Take your time watching this video. Uh, it's two-parter. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Video response down below. Watch Animat's video. Just type in um, top 11 animated, uh, top 10 animated uh, sequels, or top 10 best animated sequels and watch it for yourself. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down below. Video response if you have any comments are greatly appreciated. And I'll talk to you all later.